right, we're talking about the PM Winter Grid Challenge today. I'm out here by Angler's Pond. It just snowed in Delaware, so I thought it'd be perfect to get more, more winter vibes for my Instagram grid. If you want to check out my grid, check it out right here. That is my grid that I have been working on over the winter and early fall. Uh, my fall to winter really didn't transition too, too well. Uh, it was just kind of like smack, boom, there's there's winter. Uh, winter, I kind of wanted some blue, some white, black, and uh, just kind of like desaturated kind of colors. Uh, just because that's how it feels when you're in winter, it kind of is, is uh, gloomy a little bit. And then you also have the snow and very blue skies. It's also very sunny. Like right now, it's very bright because of the snow. So I thought it would just incorporate white and black and blue and all these desaturated kind of colors inside of my grid. All right, I got to change lenses. I have a uh, 12 to 24, 10 to 24 on there right now. 10 to 18, never mind. Uh, and I want to put on uh, the 24 or the, uh, actually I'll put the kit lens on. I thought I had my the 50, but uh, I'm just going to put this back on. I need a little bit more zoom, especially for the uh, the water that's running down here. It looks it looks beautiful with all this snow here. So let me put this on. And for my winter photos, I really I actually set a preset. It's called uh, I think it's blue skies. And obviously, when there's blue skies, but like to add that white, the brightness of the white, and then accentuate the blue. Uh, also, I have a desaturated blue where it's not so obviously where the blue's not so saturated it's kind of a lighter blue uh just to get away from every time posting something with the same exact blue kind of color with the sky if you saw my picture with the one world trade center uh that was used with the desaturated blue skies based uh preset and that was when i started using that preset and it just helps get to the point where I want to take some of these photos. So I'm down in English Pond. I'll show you guys later when I get back home about how I edit these photos for the PM Winter Grid Challenge. And if you want to check out my grid, links in the description. Uh, and I've seen some really good grids. If you search the hashtag PM Winter Grid Challenge, it's, some of these pictures are phenomenal. I am nowhere near good as some of these guys. So let's go check out how I edit these photos. Can't tell I'm not at my house, I'm actually at my aunt's. I'm gonna start editing the photos I took today at Ingram's Pond, so we should go right into it. The only dongle I have is actually an SD dongle because I use this the most. It's actually a lot easier just to keep this one than have uh, the hub because sometimes the connection on the side can be bad, but this honestly, you really only need an SD card dongle. Now, while these are being uploaded, I want to talk to you guys about what I use to make sure that it goes, a photo goes in my grid. There's this app I use. It's called Preview. Uh, it's, fr it's a free app. Uh, there's, I believe there's some extra pieces where you can download or pay for extra features. But for me, the feature is just being able to see what it's going to look like in my, uh, on my grid. It just looks, it just helps it out look really cool. So like right here, you can see how my grid is. You can add from your library, so a, a photo that you've taken, and then you can just add it right onto there and see how it looks inside the grid. I like this photo because it just shows some snow and ice and has just the colors that I'm looking for right now. I think I was talking about, I said uh, blue skies earlier. Blue skies is absolutely horrible. Mm, it's not too bad, it darkens it. But blue mist is the one I use a lot. There's a guy, Sean Tucker, Sean Tuck, uh, on Instagram and YouTube, and I was watching some of the videos, and it, uh, it talks about a photo is all about the colors in it, but it's also the colors and art in it. And right now, especially for photos in the fall and winter, or uh, more so the winter grid, it's not showing the warm colors. You want to show the cold, really blue photo uh, colors in the photo. So that's me editing one of the photos for my grid. 
uh, the PM Winter Grid Challenge was a great thing uh, for me to do and just get myself out and taking more photos and looking for something to take photos of rather than just going around and just taking random photos of things that I like looking at. Uh, so I hope you guys really enjoy this. And if you guys want some more of this, leave a comment and tell me if you guys did the PM Grid Challenge and if you did the Winter Grid Challenge, that is. And if you guys liked doing this and if you like this kind of content on here, make sure you guys like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Peace.